24 hour timer circuit. After, after any time frame from 30 seconds all the way up to 24 hours, you choose the time frame by select, you take this wire right here, which goes to this integrated circuit, which is a 4060, and you gotta choose the right pin to connect this white wire to, which will suit your time frame. So if you look at this chart, you'll see all the time frames, pin 15, 30 minutes to 90, pin five, one minute to three minutes. That's where that white wire would connect. So if you want 10 minutes, you'd use pin six. But you also have to set with this potentiometer right here, you have to actually set this properly, otherwise it won't come on the right time. I mean, it'll come on, but it might not come on at five minutes. It might come on at four, it might come on at 12. So you have to actually turn the circuit on and you wait for this light to come on, the uh, orange one on my left and you count how many seconds and there's a formula for setting up pin 7 so say you wanted right here let's say you want 10 minutes you'd use pin 14 All right. you could even use pin 6 either one but let's just say you're going to use pin 14 for the 10 minutes you're going to come down here now to set up and pin 14 is right there you got to get the total number of seconds so you, you're going to use 10 minutes, which is uh, 600 seconds, all right? So you're going to get 600 seconds divided by 16. And that's how many seconds it should take for this light right here to illuminate once the circuit comes on. If it takes too long and you rotate the potentiometer one way, hopefully it makes it get less. And if you turn it the wrong way, it'll get longer. But once you have that right, you'll have your 10 minutes. But you can adjust it for anything up to 24 hours. It'll turn on a refrigerator, it'll turn on your sprinkler system, it'll turn on just about anything. And that's it. You can make it loop by taking out, there's a diode, which this wire is actually connected onto. You could, because this diode, which is hard to see in the lighting, is also connected to a resistor. So if you take the diode out and you connected this wire to the resistor, then the circuit would loop. So say you wanted it to come on in like five minutes, the circuit would come on in five minutes, and then after five minutes, it would click off, and then five minutes later, it would click on, and after five minutes, so it would go on and off, on and off, if you took that diode out. Right now, the way it's set up, it's a one-time shot. It'll turn on whatever you want at the time frame that you want. Pretty handy circuit to have. Pretty easy to assemble. And you can get this online right here at DIYprojects.com and just type 24 hour timer.